Good morning and welcome and greetings in the mighty and precious name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. On this day that he has made for us, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. And today we're still in the season of Lent. And plus today is also Mother's Day. And we're going to give God thanks for mothers. Although I was reminded this morning in a conversation that we should give God thanks for mothers every single day of the week and amen to that and I don't have any doubt whatsoever in doing so because without mothers where would we be and mothers are a blessing from God because one of the things we have to remember is this to be a mother fatherhood starts sometimes when a child is born fatherhood sometimes start at the point of conception but for a mother they have no choice Motherhood starts at the point of conception and you know you have to nurture um, your children from the time they're in the womb so we're going to give God thanks today and today's message is going to be slightly different but do you know something we're going to praise God right now and we're going to praise God in song I feel good 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 I feel good wonderful good Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good. Come on, sing. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful, good. I feel good, good, good. Because now every time I think about Jesus, I feel good. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful, good. Every time I think about Jesus, I feel good. Do you feel good this morning? I feel good, good, good. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful, good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good. Amen. Let's give God thanks this morning on this special day some say in man's calendar but you know something we have to give God thanks for who we are and where we are in life amen so let's give God the glory the honor and the praise this morning amen let's praise God this morning because you know what without him where would he be amen mine 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 Jesus is mine Mine when I'm weary, mine when I'm dreary, mine, 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 Jesus is mine, Jesus alone is mine. Let's sing it. Mine, 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 Jesus is mine, mine when I'm weary, mine when I'm dreary, mine, mine, mine. Jesus is mine. Jesus alone is mine. One more time. Mine, mine, mine. Jesus is mine. Mine when I'm weary. Mine when I'm dreary. Mine, mine, mine. Jesus is mine. Jesus alone is mine. Amen. Let's give God the glory, the honor, and the praise this morning because we're here and He is ours. I'm going to sing one more chorus this morning. I feel like running, skipping. Praise the Lord for what He has done for me. He has set my spirit free. I feel like running, skipping. Praise the Lord. For what he has done for me. When footballers score a goal, even in this time of COVID, they run around, they jump, they skip. I feel like running, skipping. Praise the Lord for what he has done for me. He has set my spirit free. I feel like running, skipping. Praise the Lord for what he has done for me. One more time. I feel like running, 
skipping. Praise the Lord for what he has done for me. He has set my spirit free. I feel like running, skipping. Praise the Lord for what he has done for me. Let's praise God this morning. Do you know something? We must always give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. Because no matter what, he is with us. Especially on this day, Mother's Day as well. And our call to service this morning is taken from Psalms 139, verses 13 to 16. For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee. When I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Sixteenth and last. There thine eyes did I see my substance, yet being unperfect. And in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned. When as yet there was none of them. Let's give God thanks this morning in prayer. Please bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you, Father, for this glorious day. Father, there are so many things going on in the world right now. Father, we see work tackled by COVID, the violence on our streets, Father. We have leadership issues, Father. But most of all, Father, you are our bedrock. You are always with us, Father God, no matter what happens, you are with us. Father, as we reach out to you this morning, we just give you the glory, the honour and the praise this morning for what you have done for us. Father, it is a point of time at this moment when we reach out to you. We reach out to you, Father and give you thanks for mothers this morning. Father, at a time where it has been highlighted, Father, the violence against women, with the sad death of Sarah Everard, Father, we know, Father, that women go through a lot. Mothers go through a lot. And Father, the violence that some suffer at the hands of man is to be challenged. And at a time, Father, where we need, we know to instill godliness into each and every one. We know on this day, Father God, that mothers have it hard. There are mothers, Father, who are grieving. There are mothers who are subjected to violence, Father. But Father, we know through it all, through it all, through it all, you will lead the challenge in conquering. You will lead the charge to victory. Father, we reach out to you today. We ask for your blessings upon these proceedings this morning, Father. Let everything that be said and told be, be said and told through you and you alone. We ask for your guidance now, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you this morning and thank you for joining and if you're watching this service later, God bless you and happy Mother's Day. Our um, announcements this morning, um, this evening at 8.30, we'll be shining a light. We'll be praying for mothers and we'll also be saying a prayer for our streets and also as well saying a prayer for our women and also as well shining a light in memory of Sarah Everard and all the other women who have passed away as a result of violence. So, and also as well, we'll be shining a light on the authorities, particularly police, so they can show sensitivity when they handle matters. Because clearly, that needs to be done. Our food parcel service is up and running. If you need something, do let us know. We are delivering as quickly as we possibly can. And last week, we did 200. This week, we are up to... Um, 
over a hundred because we're ahead we've done monday's deliveries yesterday so and we'll continue doing that amen so god bless you for that wednesday is our community update and prayer and then on thursday which is the um, 18th is the windrush national organization public meeting it's an important one for you to attend as well simply because we are digital the um contractor for the home office to help with claims assistance not help to fill your claim forming only they will be joining the meeting to talk about what their roles and responsibilities will be also as well we're working on an information form regarding the covid19 vaccination and that will be ready in the next 10 days and that will be uploaded for you to watch as well next sunday 11 o'clock we're here and then the following monday the 22nd of um, march will be the lazelles um, community forum meeting and to register for that if you just email lazelles community forum at protonmail.com and then on the 25th of march thursday is the we matter public meeting now just to let you know we matter is now an official political party so that will that will be um the 25th all on zoom please have a look at our facebook page our twitter everything's there for you to get through there or you can visit on in that case the website wematterparty.org so that's our announcements this morning so god bless you and um thank you for listening our um scripture this morning is a short scripture taken from um the book of the the book of ephesians and it's ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 to 3 and it's a simple message that paul gave out and these are very simple messages one pointer for mother's day children obey your parents in the lord for this is right honor thy father and thy mother which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on earth. Amen. May God add his richest blessing to the reading of his holy words. Well, today's Mother's Day, and we give God thanks for mothers this morning. And um, one of the things I, I think we're just going to sing this chorus, one that I heard many many of our parents sing when in the early days when we used to go to church he lifted me up from the miry clay he planted my feet on the king's highway and this is the reason why i'll sing and i'll shout my jesus came down 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 and lifted me up 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 he lifted me up from the miry clay he planted my feet on the king's highway and that is the reason why i'll sing and i'll shout well jesus came down 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 and lifted me up 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 one more time he lifted me up from the miry clay he planted my feet on the king's highway and that is the reason why i'll sing and i'll shout well jesus came down 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 and lifted me up amen let's praise god this morning do you know we give god thanks and you know for a sermon this morning i was thinking what what do i really it's mother's day and sometimes as ministers we must tell our stories and my mother i love her dearly and maybe sometimes we don't tell our mothers that we love them dearly as sufficiently as we should but it's not just about telling them it's about showing the love amen and i was reflecting this morning and i started off by saying something to you a mother becomes a mother at a time of conception now the scripture says honor thy mother and thy father but your mother is a mother from the point of conception 
A father sometimes can be a father from point of conception or point of birth. Depends when they choose to say, well, I'm daddy. But mom is from the point of conception. Because you grow inside of mom. Mom has to start eating not for one, but two. Mom's body changes to accommodate you, me. Then mom has to go through the excruciating pain of giving birth to us. Once mom does that, it's not over. It's just begun. So they go through nine months of nurturing, carrying you, protecting you. And then at the end of that nine months, when they give birth, the work really begins. They have to feed you. They have to clothe you. They have to clean your bottom. Then they have to nurture you through life. And I reflected on what my mother told me. I reflected on the fact that she reminded me when she went for a scan um, at City Hospital. Or Dudley Road as they called it then. And she reminded me that her appointment was at nine o'clock in the morning. She was married to my dad, so named Jadu. Not everyone could pronounce it at the time, I expect. And she said a nurse came out, looked in the waiting room. I must have been looking for an Asian woman. I don't know. And my dad was sitting there with my mom. And they called uh, They called the, the 9.15 or the 9.30, whatever it was. And about 10 o'clock, my dad got up and he had a go. And some people probably watching who knew my dad. When my dad decided to have a go, he had a right old go. And my mom said she took her time. She left the hospital, went home. And then he turned up later on in the car. She said she caught the bus home. And that's how I ended up being born at Heathfield Road Maternity Hospital in Hansworth. Which was, made sense anyway, because they only lived around the corner in Westminster Road, Hansworth. But my mum also reflected on the fact that how worried she was at one point. It was snowing. And she said she fell over when she was about five months. And she said she fell over and she saw stars when she fell over. Everyone lifted her up. You okay? You know, but the worry about losing a life that was growing inside of her. Amen. And that's the thing, you know. So a mother's work is never done. A mother's worry is never done. A mother's grief is never done. And we have to understand that. Because many of us who want to have a go at our mothers must understand their journey with us. Because we can't say they never journeyed with us. Because they did. Just like Mary journeyed with Jesus. Amen. Mary journeyed with Jesus. And that's what we must understand. And that journey is replicated by mothers over and over again. Some may say mom's possessive, mom's do clingy clingy. But do you know what? A mother's love is priceless, amen. You can't pay for that. You cannot pay for that. And let me tell you this. You cannot replace a mother's love. I recall when my mother went through times of hardship, times of anguish. And then I remember when my father died. And my mother stepped up and played mother and father. My father died when I was 11. My mother had five of us. My mother had, as I've got an older brother who has learning disabilities. He has zero capacity, he doesn't hear, doesn't talk, he has epilepsy. People who know me personally will know who my brother is. My mother looked after every one of us. I remember Windrush mothers as well, remember Windrush mothers. You know, I remember her. Well, I don't remember. I went with her, but I was only nine months old. So I'm not going to remember that. Um, going to Jamaica with her. To collect my older brother and sister. She went and got them and brought them to the UK. Championing what parentage was about. Looking after your children who have been left behind. But looking after them in such a way that you know you are going to get them. And let everyone be one family. Stepping up as mother and father after my father died. Amen. Being there. Through thick and through thin. And one thing I thank God for my mother for is this. She always said, Des, 
Never let a woman take liberty with you. And I said, what are you talking about? She says, you must always be able to wash your clothes, iron your clothes, clean your home and cook. Basic life skills. And that's from a woman. She said, you must know how to look after yourself. Never rely upon anyone else except God to guide you. I recall many a times when I went to school, my mother would say to me, she'd go, sorry, and she'd listen to the teachers. Oh, well, Desmond wants to be this. I don't think he'll be that. And my mother said, listen to me. You don't tell me what my son's going to be. My son will work hard for whatever he wants to be. And once he works hard, he will achieve. And I remember going home and my mother said, don't worry about them. You're a winner already because you're in the race. That means no matter what, you will be a winner because you will cross that finishing line. Come first, come last. You're a winner. And always remember in life that you are a winner. She says, I don't give birth to losers. I give birth to winners because you're a winner because you were born. Amen. Because she always says many weren't. And the thing is what you must remember. With this scripture, honour thy mother and thy father is this. Your parents are there for you. Many will feel let down. But you know what? You see that initial nine months of your mum carrying you. Never feel let down. Because if she didn't love and nurture and care for you. You wouldn't be here. If you didn't believe and trust that a child is a gift from God, you would not be here today. And where's this leading? It's leading to this. Mother's Day is every day. Some say today is for commercial purposes like Valentine's Day, like Father's Day to increase gifts, to increase flowers. But you know what? What's up? You can bring your mom flowers every week if you wish. You know, I remember, I know, all right, we're in lockdown now, but I know that in many West Indian households, on a Saturday, it's Saturday supra, not mom's, or it's Sunday for Sunday dinner. Grandmother as well. But do you know something? Anna, thy mother and thy father. Mothers are special. Mothers are special. My mother's special. That little reflection I've made about my mother is important because my dad died when I was 11 and I remember my father. My father died over 44 years ago. But we give God thanks because what my mother did was to fill a gap. How many of you can relate to this? I know many of you can. Amen. So when we give God thanks for our mothers. Let us give God thanks for our mothers in spirit and in truth. And one of the reasons the Lord has played on my heart. To deliver this to you today is this. Too many grieving mothers. Caused by others who have mothers. And those perpetrators at times cause your own mother to grieve. Have some consideration today. Have the fear of God in your heart. Because do you know what? Children are a gift from God. But mothers are an even greater gift from God. Amen. So let's honour them today. But not just for this day. Let's honour them moving forward. And... The concerns which have been raised regarding the violence surrounding women. Of course there's going to be conflict. Of course there's going to be exchanging words. Of course at times there's going to be discomfort. But let us not resort to violence. Let us walk away. Let us calm down. But there is wickedness in this world as well. And let's not forget about the wickedness and the evil that is there. This young lady died in London because of wickedness, because of evil. 
but she also died because of inaction of the authorities. When alarm was raised about the actions of an individual, they did not act quick enough. But let's not play the blame game this morning. We're talking about reality. Because the words will never change the reality. Our actions may well change reality. Words are words without the all important action. So today, as we honor our mothers, as we give God thanks to them, let us never lose focus upon God. Because God has gifted us with our women. And let me tell you this. Those of you who may not be a physical mother, you still are. Because it's instilled in you. It's inside of you. You have been blessed. And I'm sure that at some time in your life, you have mothered a child. Because it's not just about giving birth. It's about being there. It's about when they fall, lifting them up. And now it's payback time. It's time for us, the children, to look after our mothers. And this is why this one verse in Ephesians, honor thy mother and thy father. Honor your mother today. Give God thanks for your mother today. Those of you who your mother has passed on, never stop giving God thanks for her. Because without her, without her, where would you be? Because when man tries to interfere with, in, in, in the whole process of conception, some in a positive way, some not, a woman, a mother, a woman is needed. A woman is there and we must honour them. Let us not bring them to harm. Let us give God thanks and let us play our part in looking after our women today. And as today we honour our mothers, we know it's COVID, but just to make a phone call and say I love you means a lot. And even for me, you know, when it comes to that, sometimes many of us will not say to our mums, Mom, I love you. But you know what's more important? Show it in your actions. Show it in your thoughts. And show it how you look after your mothers. God bless you this morning and God keep you. May his light shine upon you and give you peace. Now and always. God bless you. Today, we're going to go into a time of prayer and then we're going to shine a light this evening. And I just want you to focus upon the Lord this evening. As we sing, let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Whoa, let the church. Say amen. Mm, let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Please bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. Thank you for all this special day, Mother's Day, Father. Father, we put all mothers, we put all our women in front of you right now. We ask you, Father, to let us wake up to a realization that they are a blessing from you, Father. Father, we just pray protection. We pray love. We pray unity. We pray harmony upon them right now, Father. Father, those who feel alone and isolated, Father, wake them up to the realization that you are with them. Father, we've seen the fallout for what has happened this week, Father. But, Father, we just are, we pray, Father, for peace and contentment. We saw what happened in Clapham, London last night, Father. But, Father, wake up and give a shake, Father, to those in authority. And, Father, if they are unable, Father, it is time for that all-important shake. It is time for your people to step up and replace those, Father. Because, Father, 
We know that you are the way, the truth, and the life. Father, we just pray for the sick this morning. Father, we pray for the words that have been delivered. Let it resonate in our hearts, Father, we pray. And Father, we just pray for your guidance, protection. Protect us, Father, until we shine a light this evening. And Father, let our days, Father, just be with you. Be with us now as we be with you. Father, hear our cry. Attend unto our prayer this morning as we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. So until 8.30 this evening when we shine a light. And we give God thanks for you being with us this morning. And what we're going to do is we're going to sing the doxology today instead. And we're going to sing the doxology this morning. And the doxology that we're singing is... Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. God bless you until we shine a light this evening at 8.30. God be with you and enjoy and happy Mother's Day.